Hello and welcome to Maths Activities with the Parvita Ganguly. In the previous videos, we had seen the different types of triangles, then two important properties, that is the sum of the measures of all angles of a triangle is 180 degree and the remote entry angle theorem. In this video, we are going to study about medians of a triangle and centroid. For that, first we should know what is a median. So, a median is a line segment joining the vertex of a triangle to the midpoint of its opposite side. Now, for obtaining the midpoint of side of a triangle, we will use the paper folding method. So, when I fold this paper, this triangle in this manner, such that the vertices, they overlap each other, I get the midpoint of the side. Similarly, when I fold it in this manner, I get the midpoint of the second side. And similarly, the third side midpoint. Now, once I get the midpoint, then I will join the vertex to the midpoint of the side. When I join it in this manner, this line segment joining the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side of the triangle is known as the median. Similarly, because the triangle has got three vertices, hence by again joining the midpoint of this side to the vertex, opposite vertex, the line segment, that is this one, is again known as the median. And the third one, similarly, joining the vertex to the midpoint of the third side, again gives us the third median. Now you will find that all the three medians, they are intersecting at the same point, at one and only one point. This point of intersection of the three medians is denoted by capital G, and it is known as the centroid of the triangle. Now, I have taken three triangles of different types. That is, one is an acute angle triangle, other is a right angle triangle, and the third is an obtuse angle triangle. Three different types of triangles. And I have drawn the medians. And here you can see all the medians intersect at one point that is the centroids. In case of right angle triangle also the three medians they intersect at the same point and this point is the centroid. Similarly for the obtuse angle triangle also the three medians they intersect at one point and that is the centroid. Now there is an important property of the centroid and that is the centroid divides the median in the ratio of 2 is to 1 from the vertex. From the vertex to the centroid, the part is 2 parts and from the centroid to the midpoint, it is 1 part. So, that is how the centroid divides each median. Now, let us show this. Now, for that, what I, I will do is, I will consider this length that is from the midpoint to the centroid to be as x. Let us take this length as x. Then from the centroid here I will mark a point and let us consider that point as say x. So again this distance is small x. This point up to this point is again x and from here to the vertex is again another x. So here we find that if we consider this vertex as A, then from A to G is x plus x 2x. From G to this point, let us consider it as D on the opposite side that is midpoint, G to D is x. So we have the ratio of AG upon GD as 2x upon x, as 2x upon x, xx will get cancelled, will be 2 upon 1. So, the centroid divides the median in the ratio of 
टू इज टू वन वी कैन कंसिडर एनी अदर मीडियन एंड वेरीफाई द सेम थिंग लेट एस टेक वन मीडियन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर ट्राइंगल सो इफ वी कंसिडर द लेंथ फ्रॉम द मिड पॉइंट टू जी दिस लेंथ देन फ्रॉम जी वी अगेन हैव दिस लेंथ एंड फ्रॉम हियर अगेन अप टू द वर्टेक्स द सेम सो दिस फ्रॉम वर्टेक्स टू जी इज ट्वाइस द लेंथ फ्रॉम जी टू द मिड पॉइंट सो दिस इज द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ द सेंट्रॉइड सो टूडे हिंस वी हैव स्टडीड दैट ऑल द थ्री मेडियंस दैट इज द सेगमेंट ज्वाइनिंग द वर्टेक्स टू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ द अपोजिट साइड दे इंटरसेक्ट एट अ पॉइंट दिस पॉइंट इज नोन एज द सेंट्रॉइड डिनोटेड बाय जी the centroid divides each of the median in the ratio of 2 is to 1 from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side thank you